For most of real estate's long history, real estate photography was virtually non-existent. Nowadays, with the internet, email, and MLS, and social media, you could say that professional real estate photography is the most powerful marketing tool at a realtor's disposal. The reason for this is obvious. Photography is usually the very first thing buyer sees when viewing homes online. Homes that use high quality professional photography tend to sell for more than homes that don't. That being said, if your realtor uses listing photos that look awful, you might want to convince them to hire a pro. I'm Amanda Woolcott with the Blue Coast team and EXP Realty of Canada, and today we're looking at the effects of good and bad photography in real estate. Here are a few things to look out for. First, does it look like the photos were taken by a professional or on a cell phone? Your realtor should be hiring someone to make sure that the photographs look immaculate. Using a combination of natural and artificial lighting and flash leads to a vibrant and sharp photo. And photographers should know not to use built-in flashes as proximity to your camera lens can create unattractive dust that reflects and show up as white flecks in the photography. If your realtor's choice of photography constantly leaves you scratching your head about the choices of angles or framing, you'll want to consider finding somebody who can do it right. Photographers need to be able to identify what's important in each and every room and know how to make it look attractive. See if the rooms in your realtor's photography looks like they've been tidied up. Realtors should give sellers lots of time to prepare their homes while giving ideas for making it look as attractive as possible. The Blue Coast team uses professional in-house photography to make your home look its best. And we promise that the quality of photography will help you get the results when selling. I'm Amanda Woolacott, thank you for watching, and it's time to come home to the Blue Coast.